Meg is the new legendary brawler to Brawl Stars. Meg is classified as a damage dealer, and as such, deals a lot of damage. Meg has a few great parts about her, and a few not so great parts about her. And I actually think Meg is really, really close to being a near perfect brawler. Just a few changes here and there are good, and a few changes here and there are bad. And I'd like to point out which ones. To start off, Meg is very, very, very weak in her base form. Though well, nothing is wrong with this, it also causes her to get targeted by brawlers like Mortis, or Stu, or literally anyone capable of pulling up on her block. Well, this isn't a bad thing, and brawlers like Byron or Piper have this problem. Meg can't respond. Piper can at least use her gadget to push him away and hit him. Byron can at least deal some poison over time. Meg is pretty much powerless. And even if she does get her super to get her mech, what's she gonna do if they're still on top of her? Not much. I propose a small damage buff would be a good addition. But not enough to make her, like, overpowered, per se, because she does unload shots and recharge shots very, very fast. What I would say is make it harder to get the mech, but make it more rewarding to be in your face form. Make her two brawlers in one package kind of thing, like a form-switching brawler. Another suggestion would be, with this recent buff, making her have a slower reload and zero ammo when a mech breaks, would be to change it to one ammo and maybe standardize the mech exploding away when the mech breaks. Why I'd say this change would be important is because right now, zero ammo, slower to reload, and dropping off right where the mech broke, brawlers like Mortis, Daryl, or Stu just shred her, and immediately. Well, it's not bad, because it would allow you to deal with Meg. Meg shouldn't be so freaking helpless that she can't even respond in the slightest. As my proposed change would work, Meg would have one ammo, a little bit higher damage, but a harder time getting the mech, making her more viable in her base form, but not, like, overpowered per se, or, like, you're going to want the mech, but you're not relying on the mech so much that it's the only thing helping you win at all. Now talking about the mech, the mech is, honestly, in my opinion, fairly balanced. The only things I think I would change is the speed at which the super is charged. The super, for the mech super, the mech arm I'm gonna call it, the mech arm does a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. When there's nothing objectively wrong with this damage, as Supercell doesn't want to nerf Ash or Brock's rocket repellent gadget, or things like Griff Super up close. Lots of damage at once isn't objectively bad. What is kind of not fairly balanced sometimes is the fact that mech, or mech, not mech, Meg, or mech, yeah, can get the super every 4.5 seconds. In the old showdown, where it's very open, where I'm showing this footage from, it's not that much of an issue because people can run away, people can avoid the arm, but in 3v3 modes like knockout or gem grab, if you corner somebody, the mech arm's coming down and they're going down as well. Why I say change this is maybe if it was a 10 second charge duration, but you could slowly charge it at an accelerated rate by dealing damage, it would encourage people who are playing Meg to not just sit in the corner of the map and charge up one mech arm for the entire game, but instead to get down there with their team, deal some damage, do some support, and then be rewarded for doing damage and doing some support. Because she's classified as a damage dealer, and her primary source of damage is the mech, but it shouldn't be so reliant on the mech that the only thing you are going after is a mech arm kill. Another thing I would say is that the HP is actually too low. And you're probably thinking, alright, I'm disliking this right now, I'm, I'm deleting you from existence. Hear me out. The mech degrades over time. You see in a lot of these clips, I immediately pop the gadget when I get the mech, because it just degrades. If Meg had the same amount of health as Frank, she would be able to stay in the mech a little bit longer, and taking damage wouldn't be a life or death situation. Because a lot of the time, I actually hide the mech, despite having far more health with Meg. Because if I don't, then the mech just dies. Because she's the only brawler to have degrading health on her super, or I guess her health in general, having more of it wouldn't change that much because it's going away over time anyway. And that would 
not let her, or not let her, but it wouldn't make her so reliant on our gadget. The way the gadget works is it heals Meg every few seconds for 450 HP. That's how I typically keep the mech for longer than 5 seconds because, well, the gadget heals the mech. If Meg could use less gadget and more just health, I think that would be a good change. She wouldn't need to pop gadget, she wouldn't waste gadget every 5 seconds, and she wouldn't be forced to, well, waste the gadget. And she would actually be able to get in there. It would be more rewarding to really rush forward and deal some damage. It would also encourage better mech arm plays, because then you'd be charging your super for damage and getting the mech arm earlier because you would be more up in there. And honestly, I think mech's mech mag is really close to being balanced. The only major change is she needs a way to survive after the mech dies. Right now, she's a dead in the water. The moment the mech goes down, you are just toast. No, no living, no second chance, there's no fight. Meg can't reload in time to outdo a Mortis, or even a Byron for that matter. If she gets hit, she's done. And the mech is strong. While it is strong, it's only strong in the right hands. If Meg can't approach, then the mech arm's not doing much, and she's just gonna do a little, like, chip damage over a distance. Nothing's wrong with this, as that's kinda what she's designed to do, with a longer range and a larger area. Problem comes when she gets hit in the face once, and the mech starts degrading as well, and she can't stay in the fight, because if she stays in the fight, then mech breaks, she falls out, and she's dead in the water. So by increasing HP, the mech has a fighting chance, and by encouraging people to get in there, you now have a fighting chance with the mech as well, having HP to back it up, and you're being encouraged to go deal some damage with the mech arm through dealing damage at a range. If these changes were implemented, I think you could see Mech, or not Mech, Meg, be a little bit different, but in a good way, and a little better overall, just because she won't be so super reliant anymore. And she'll be a little bit of her own individual brawler on top of being a Mech brawler. This has been my thoughts and ideas on Meg balance changes. I hope you found them interesting. And I hope that you accept some of these ideas as not completely bad and garbage. Thanks for watching.